Yeah. Oh, I can't commit. It, to you know, single. You know, there's no question of that. Absolutely. Well, we were talking about how I shouldn't pick. It's like picking your children. You know, which one's your favorite children? You can't do that. But I think I like this one a little better than Harry and Sally. But I love Harry and Sally, and I saw it several times. I was dragged to see it uh, a couple times, and then I saw it on my own. And I really liked it because I love Meg and I love Billy Crystal. This movie, I, I guess I maybe related to it a little bit more, and it's very sweet. Well, I, uh, you know, you do end up, it is truly like your children, and you can't pick them. Um, but this one, the most recent one, is the one you always love the most. And... Uh, and this movie, I think, is not, you know, Tom Hanks plays in it um, a more accessible human being, um, you know, a, a father with a kid, and, um, and if I do say so myself, and I can because I had so little to do with it, isn't he great in the movie? He is. Yeah. It's, it's so natural. It's like I couldn't imagine anybody else doing this. I know. I feel as if it's the first movie he's been in where he's a man. Um, He's been a fabulous boy in every one of his movies, boyish. And I feel as if somewhere in the last couple of years he's shed a skin and he's come into some ease with his own self that is so wonderful to watch. It is. So. Meg is kind of like the girlfriend that a lot of us would love to have had in high school or in college. She just strikes me as like the perpetual college girl, a little flaky, a little goofy. But the kind you just want to put your arms around. I know. I used to sit in the cutting room and, and watch her and, and just turn to my editor and say, isn't she adorable? I know. I mean, she just, just knocks me out. And she's yeah. so natural in this film, too. And Rosie O'Donnell is so funny. That's a great combination. Yes, we were so lucky to, you know, I knew that that part would be incredibly hard to cast. And I thought, well, we're going to look for weeks and it's going to be a nightmare. And... I really thought of that as kind of that we needed someone to do for this movie what Whoopi Goldberg had done for Ghost, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. just funny, just plain funny all the time. And she was about the second person who came in to read for it. And I foolishly, I had no idea who she was. My children were appalled that night when I told them that I'd met this person, Rosie O'Donnell, did they know who she was? And they said, you don't know who she is. I mean, she is a truly famous person if you watch VH1 and the Comedy mm -hmm. Channel. She started reading, and that was it. It was like, oh, now we can go home. We've done this part. If anything, you had to tone her down. I didn't have to really? tone Rosie down. Well, I, I got, Rosie does this thing every so often where, where she gives you a little Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, if, and I've said to her at one point, Rosie, if you don't think the line is funny, tell me it's not funny and we'll fix it. But you don't have to have a Brooklyn accent in order to kind of goose it up. And she said, okay, okay. She's like a sponge. She learns so fast that it's kind of shocking. I think she's a wonderful actress. All right, here's the question of the day. How do you know so much about what we're thinking, guys, and what girls are thinking? I mean, you just have that natural thing that allows you to know us. Or do you know us? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, I think, I think I spent a long time as a journalist thinking that I didn't have a field of expertise. And meanwhile, I would do all this writing, and then I would make all these little messy things in my life, um, you know. And when I got done with it, it turned out I did have a field of expertise, which is I sort of, I do know about men and women. I don't know a lot of answers, but I do know a lot of stuff. You know, and when Harry met Sally, Rob Reiner told me a lot about what men are thinking, so that was very helpful. Although many of the things he told me weren't a complete surprise to me. They were sort of my wildest nightmares of what men were thinking. But, but you know, Tom is very, very, you know, he's not just an actor, he's a writer. And if he, often he would look at a scene and say, well, I don't think he would do that. Let's have him do this. And... If you've got an actor who's that strong, it really helps the male parts. Um, but I don't think men and women are as mysterious as they think. See, you the know? older I get, the more I know, the less I know. Well, I think that's true, but no one, you don't have to know stuff. You don't have to know answers. All you have to know are questions to write this stuff, you know? Yeah, you, you, yeah I get that. Is this a chicks movie? No. Do you think it is? No. Uh, I think it's one of those. I saw some 
guys, you know, some tough guys when it was over with who probably hadn't had a date in three years, and they didn't understand it, or they didn't admit they did. But this was like I felt when I left Ghost and Harry and Sally. I, I might have not known what I was getting into, but I was glad I was there. I mean, there is a romantic somewhere in me. and uh, I know, think and I was, if you have enough it. comedy in a movie, um, then men will find their way to yeah, I mean, the right emotional part. When you start part. to get a little mushy on us, you threw a line at us like, you'll have to pay to see the movie, but Dirty Dozen and the Fatal Attraction stuff that brought us back up to say, okay, we know what this is. Well, yeah. what we were hoping to do is that all the way through the movie we would kid the idea of women's movies and men's movies and have that keep going until the end when, in fact, both sexes could see the end and have feelings about it. And well, let's hope that life ends happily ever after like this movie does. Okay? Oh, well. That was my dream. All right. Yes, Thank it you. will. It will. Your destiny. Don't forget that your destiny, sometimes to get to your destiny, you have to go through many false destinies. Thank you, Nora. You're very welcome, Thank you. Jim. I appreciate that. Yes, that, and, that, and that any word time. Of wisdom will get me through the day. It will, I know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.